Hey guys, guess where I am? Back in Vegas. Yeah, I lost so bad last time I had to come back for some more. Nah, just kidding. We're just in stopping through Vegas on our way to Utah. The naps here. Is our last flight naps. So I was asleep the entire flight and uh, when we were landing or when the pilot was beginning his like landing whatever procedure thing, I thought it was just a bumpy ride and then we landed but my window shade was down so I didn't know where the <laughs> fuck we were. I thought we were going down. Like I thought it was it bro. Like I legit thought I, I legit thought it was like some final destination shit. <laughs> and, and so like I felt like the force from like landing. So That's I, a pretty rocky landing. Bro. bro. And I was like asleep too through the whole thing. So then I felt like us landing and I was like, what the fuck is going we, on? We were honestly, we were taking some pretty freaking sharp turns. Bro. We were taking like, some hits. We, we were, were taking... getting knocked around by Mother Nature. It was pretty cool. Dude, that was a... But I thought it was it, man. I thought that was it. <laughs> and then I raised my window shade. I saw where I saw we were landing. I was like, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that flight was delayed for us. Don't mount off to flight attendant people. Yeah, don't do not do it. It's not worth it. So what happened was we were like the last ones on the plane. The plane is like pretty much full. I'm sitting down in a seat, a middle seat. And then one of the flight attendants goes, do you want a window seat? I was like, oh, sure. So then I moved and then the, there was this couple sitting in the aisle with the window seat. And then the guy was like, no, no, no. <laughs> And then the flight attendant was like, well, this is a full flight. Unless you're going to buy this seat, then you can't say anything. And then the guy was like, oh, I'll buy it. And then he kept mouthing off to his flight attendant. And then right when we left the gate, we were like driving to the, the strip. And then the flight attendant kicked the guy off the plane. So we had the plane had to turn back. And so, so great. Yeah. It was delayed because of that guy. So thank you. Thank you, that guy. I mean, I if know you're that guy, and you're watching this, but you're probably not because you don't even know who the fuck we are. <laughs> Screw you. You know, I knew I was very intimidating oh, okay. and scary, but I didn't think I was that scary. Like, I'm pretty intimidating. What would you compare me to, intimidating wise? Intimidating wise? Yeah. You honestly look like what's his name? Um, do you watch Seven Deadly Sins? Okay. You're like a brunette Meliodas. I'll take that. I'll take it. He's like not intimidating at all until you realize he's like a freaking beast. Right. <laughs> I was hoping you say something like, oh, like you're as about as intimidating as like a, like a teddy bear or something. Well, something cute. Well, you know? when, when the guitar's not in your hand, you're like as intimidating as like, like a shark. This guy's still waking up. Like a shark. Right? This guy's still waking when up from his nap. When you put the guitar in your hand, you're like an orca. Is that a good thing? You're more dangerous. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm more dangerous with a guitar. I don't know. Post-flight delusion. <laughs> let's go get you're something to eat. hard questions, let's, bro. let's go get some food, bro. I just woke up, man. Mmm. Mmm. $20 sandwich. <laughs> $50 beer, my favorite. You know, when it's a little more expensive, it tastes a little better. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It tastes premium, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. It's premium. It's definitely premium. I was telling uh, Naps, I think that guy was scared of me. Because I am... <laughs> I am pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. I'd be scared of you. Oh, well, Stealing my girl, maybe. What, what would you uh, compare me to, intimidation-wise? Probably like sitting next to Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> He's hard to kill. <laughs> How am I intimidating, John? I don't know, man. The Japanese had the samurais and the ninjas, bro. I don't know what's in your blood. I might be, I might be descended from them. Or you might be a geisha. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really big airport and we've been walking for like almost 10 minutes <laughs> and we're still not at the at the baggage claim and we've been using these too it's really big I think we're almost to baggage claim 
I doubt it. No, believe it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> when you see the bag come out, then you believe. The last time I took a corner bag, you say that fucking head made me go in the Walmart terminal. Fuck that food shit. Yeah, look, 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 look. I doubt it. Oh, another mile yeah. walk. See, I told you. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, stadium seating over here. I thought it was. <laughs> Oh, there's no bars on the Bro, where's the bags? <laughs> I think we've been walking for like 15 minutes almost. Huh. Good fucking mile, bro, at least. <laughs> Fuck, maybe even 10. Southwest? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, Is that us? Three. No, these are the yeah, ones that like sit on. Oh, up in there, <laughs> Yeah. All they gotta run is some chocolate down there and make some fondue, yeah? So. Fondue? <laughs> oh my goodness, we made it. Fuck, we made it to some food. Journey! Fuck the bag. Oh, journey! Jeez. <laughs> I feel like so they're hard. coming off of my head, bro. I mean, small kind saw. I never imagined you'd have calluses on the back of your ears. I'd only hoped. <laughs> I mean, I tried training. <laughs> I tried doing everything I could to build up the tough skin in the back of my ears. And, it, you know, that's why, you know, this pandemic has really been, it's been a kind of like a blessing, you know. It's a dream size. come true, baby. On the inside of these. Oh, that's, that was on the plane for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the sunset. I can't really see on the camera. <laughs> the sun is still out and it's like eight something. You know what time it is? 8.46 It's 8.46 p.m. And the sun is just setting now. Trippy. Traveled seven hours to Utah for McDonald's. American. For me tonight, bro. <laughs> Alright, that's it, man. Gotta revisit, bro. <laughs> Never again. Playing reggae music, okay? You don't want distortion on your chucks? Come on, man. <laughs> This is pretty crazy. Never had our own rooms before. So this is the bathroom. Pretty nice. Because we're starting in the bathroom. Two beds. I just gotta decide which one I wanna sleep on. Another mirror. Big closets in here. Window. And then the 
this side. We have a TV over here. I don't know why the TV's over here. It's kind of a weird place. We got TV, couch, some snackies, desk, and this is the entrance. And then some more stuff over here. Oh. Pretty cool. Can't believe we get our own rooms. Pretty crazy. Right now it's local time here is 12 12 in the morning. We just finished sound check, just got here. I think the guys are going to Buffalo Wild Wings. So I probably should go and not be uh not be a lame-o and stay in my room by myself. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for today. I don't know what the agenda is tomorrow, but we're just gonna sound check again probably and then play the gig. Oh look, there's Buffalo's Odd Wings right across the street. But yeah, what I was gonna say is I have some uh, some parts I gotta brush up on my own just to review. But yeah, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>